I feel like 20 years. Some days uh, feels a lot more than 20 years. Uh, other days, it's you know just you know I, I think back when I see the lums come back. I think it was just yesterday. So it it, it it's moved very quickly. It's been tons of different challenges as we as we been through the years. But to see you know where we've come, you know particularly I start off as an assistant here, so under Walt, and uh, to see you know you know I used to I think I started off you know I, I cut the lawn on. on first couple of weeks on the job and line the fields myself and, and all that stuff to see now we have a stadium that's you know holds some of the best uh, crowds in America so we've, we've we've made a lot of transitions from uh, being a team you know the youngest team in the ACC you know which that, that's now different but uh, you know a team that started in 1980 you know there's three or four teams that already had national championships in the league so to, to take it there and see the evolution you know, go through with, with success and and just see that you know, now we're able to compete for you know, national championships. He pushes us every day. Um, you know, no, no bad practice is, is acceptable because we're all capable of doing more. Um, you know, he makes sure that we're all on top of our game, you know, on and off the field. Wake up, let's go, finish this off. No, I'm, I, I think that our standards are very high. My standards are very high. But looking at some of the players, and you know, we've had, we've had Mac, you know, Armand Trophy winners. We've had, you know, top players in the country. We've players who've gone national teams. Players who go to the pros. Quicker, quicker, so I, I know what the standard is, and and I am very demanding on them. And you know, it's demanding, mentally, physically, day in, day out. He knows the style of ball he wants us to play and the way he helps us understand it is amazing. I think the biggest thing is how he develops players. You know, he, it doesn't matter if you're the number one recruit in the country or if you're a walk-on, he just sees you in you and what, what you're good at and what you're not and he's going to help you to develop. I think that one of the things that we try and help them in their development process is, is self-analysis. Know, evaluate where you are and what you have to do. I've developed a lot. I mean, in my four years here, especially um, just the knowledge that coaches instilled, you know, with me. Just little things that you don't really think about, you know, as a as a kid growing up and playing soccer. A lot of things that you, you don't think that that are important. Little details here and there. I mean, Coach Jay, he, he makes those things so evident. He's able to show you, and he's able to identify, you know, in your own game what your weaknesses are and he does so well to help you improve on those. Coach Jage has helped me to be become a smarter player and know when to attack and when to defend and when to do those situations. I think that has helped me a lot. It's really a perfect system to improve and get better and that was my goal when I, when I stepped foot there the first day and um, you know can't thank them enough for you know turning me into a professional player and, and a good person as well. My family moved to, moved to Brazil and perfect time for soccer. I went there and you know, moved there at the end of 1969 going to 1970 and that was when the you know arguably the, the best team in the world you know from, was Brazil. Yeah well it's like there's someone on my family here because being away from home and having nobody from my family here and I don't speak Portuguese with anybody and I come and coach Jay we're able to talk a little bit in Portuguese you know like hi how are you. Vem cá, por favor. Culturally, you know, it's a different life, and and uh, I have a, it's a, it's a big part of of me. And for me specifically, he's really done an awesome job just pushing me um, and motivating me. Um, you know, he makes sure that we never get complacent. You know, uh, you know, compliments are hard to come by, but when you get them, you know that you've earned it. So we have high standards for him, but at the same time, I always want them to know when they've done something right. I, I am very proud of them. That's it. Good, good D, good D. Oh, he, he molded me to be a man, and uh, you know the off the stuff that he helped me with. I uh, went through some difficult times, but he was always there for me. He's like a father figure to me, and uh, you know taught me how to be mentally strong and make it through some difficult times. And uh, you know those are the kind of things that I think that sets him apart as a, as a for the coach and a person. And the transformational coach is someone that wants to develop the total person uh, as a player, as a soccer player, as an individual uh, to be successful in anything he does. And I think Jay fits that to a T. Um, so again, I, I owe a lot to him, I'm forever indebted to him, I'm uh, uh, definitely very proud to have worn the Wake Forest crest and I can't believe he's done, been there for 20 years, but he's deservedly so, uh, one of the top coaches in this country and, and uh, I love him, so I appreciate everything he's done, thank you.